At five, growing concerns over the safety of South Florida's new high-speed rail has prompted several members of Congress to ask the Transportation Department to investigate. CBS 4's Ted Scouten live tonight in Pompano Beach with the details. Ted. Yeah, Rick, in the last week and a half, three people were hit by Brightline trains. Two of those hits were deadly. It appears that the problem is right back there at the railroad crossings where people are simply ignoring the warning signs. It seems like this that have Brightline officials cringing, people walking along the tracks or going under a lowered gate. Already, the high-speed train has hit five people, three in the last couple of weeks. One was a suicide, one was called an accident, and three were people, police say, who did not obey the signals. Brightline is pushing a message of safety. We need to amplify that message about safety and to encourage all members of our community to obey the bells, lights, and gates and to never try and beat a train. Now there's a growing list of politicians calling for a safety review. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson is the latest saying, I join with Florida Senators Marco Rubio and Bill Nelson in calling on Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chao to conduct a thorough investigation into the fatal accident. Some in the community think people just aren't used to the train speed yet. I think it's they don't realize how fast that train is coming and they've been used to these these regular freight trains and tri-rails just coming through and they can just run across, but they don't realize that this train is a super fast train. As part of their safety push, Brightline has people standing at busy train intersections on the weekend passing out information. They also put signs up at busy crossings warning there are more trains on the tracks. Willie Snell would like to see more signs that give a bigger warning. It'll put up signs that tell people, look, this train is traveling. Um, this train will be here in 39 seconds. This isn't a regular train. You know, you should really not cross the tracks. And Brightline insists that the problem is not the speed of the trains. It said all these tragedies can be prevented by simply following the safety signs. Live in Pompano Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.